Hi everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome to PD in Pieces. Today what we're going to be discussing is all of the sounds in English. So you'll learn what kind of sounds we have and then also what those sounds sound like. So let's get right to it. In English, we have two types of speech sounds. We have vowel sounds and we have consonant sounds. We're going to focus on vowels first. So take a look at this vowel valley. Here you see all of the vowel sounds in English, and you're going to notice that these vowel sounds are sounds that are made with an open mouth where the jaw drops and there's nothing in your mouth that stops or slows down the speech sound. So we're going to make all of these sounds. You'll notice that as we go down the valley, my jaw is going to drop and it's going to be most wide down at the bottom and then it will slowly move back up and we'll start with the long E sound. So here we go. E, I, A, E, A, I, A, 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 O, U, U, U. Then at the top of our vowel valley, we have the schwa sound, which can say a uh, or sometimes i. Then we see our controlled vowels. These are vowels and the sounds are that are produced by these are controlled vowels are r, er, and or. And then we have diphthongs, which is another category of vowels. And the two diphthong sounds in English are oi and ow. Those are the vowel sounds. Consonants are the other type of speech sound in English, okay? And consonants are sounds that are created where something in the mouth is stopping or slowing down the sound. So it can either be your throat, your tongue, your teeth, or your lips that are stopping or slowing down the sound. We're gonna go through this consonant sound wall and we'll make every consonant speech sound in English. So let's get to it. We'll start with the stop sounds. P, B, T, D, K, G. Then the nasal sounds. M, mm, N, Ng. Then the fricatives. Then the affricates, sometimes known as a fricatives. Ch, j, glides. Y, w. and liquids. Oh, oh. Those are the English sounds, both consonants and vowels. And most experts agree that there are between 42 and 44 total speech sounds in English and all of our words are composed of these speech sounds. So I hope you learned something new today. If you need to, you can rewind the video and listen to the speech sounds the way that they're produced. One thing, that's really important to learn is that we want to make sure that we are creating really clear, crisp, and pure sounds. So make sure your kids are not adding on uh sounds to the end of these consonant words make or consonant sounds. Make sure they don't say p, right? Because look what happens. Our jaw drops when we make that sound. And we already learned that that's only a characteristic of a, of a vowel sound. So here, we want to keep our speech sounds really short. P, b, t, right? Not t, not b, right? We want to keep them short and pure. So that's my tip for you as you teach your students letters and sounds and as you model that for them. Make sure that you keep it nice and short. So thanks for joining us. I hope that you learned a lot about both vowels and consonants and the speech sounds in English. Come back soon.